Okay, so right here we have our type tool, okay, right there. Okay, it's a little different than Photoshop because we have a few different options here. So if I just click on it, it's going to be a lot like Photoshop. Click on the board. Okay, and then I just type and I get whatever I want. Now, if I go back to my black arrow tool, see how it selected it? Um, here's my type, okay? So I can come up here just like always. My tools are up here. I don't like this typeface. Let's go to Ed Gothic. Okay, same deal applies to everything here. I can go Option. I get my second arrow, drag it. Oops. Make a copy. Okay. Now the other thing I can do here with this, we don't want to go to Area Type Tool yet. Let's go to Type on a Path. So let's make a path here real quick. Let's get rid of this. Let's make a regular path. Okay, so here's my path. I don't have to um, stroke the path or anything, and I don't have to worry about this fill right now because I'm just going to use this path. If you want to see it without that, it's just this. Okay? Now I'm going to go to my type tool again, and I want to pick type on a path, which is this one right here. Okay? And then I'm going to go right where it hits that intersection on that uh, path. It, it drops in uh, Greek type. But we don't care about that. And it'll follow this. I'm going to make this bigger. Up here, I still I also have my um, type tools up here. So I'm going to go bigger. And it will follow that path. Okay? I also have handles here. I can play with it, move it along. Okay? Does that make sense? Simple. Okay? Now, let's make another... Let's look. Where did my type tool go? Oh, right there. We got a vertical type tool, which is exactly what it says. It just throws the type in vertically. Okay? Let's make this smaller. Like that. The reason I'm telling you guys this is you should drop in some type, if, if nothing else, just for placement as you're working. Because what you don't want to do is start creating your illustration. It looks really great, and then you have no place to put your type and you haven't thought about your type, okay? Now the type can change, but just spatially, you might want to put it in there. Let's see. So that's vertical. Vertical type on a, uh, on a path tool, which just does, it lays it sideways and puts it on a path like we just did. And this area type tool we'll talk a little bit about later, okay? But if I take the regular type tool, this one, and I click and drag a box, It'll fill that box, okay? So let's just go smaller here. This is too big. So let's just repeat this. What it'll do is, as this shape changes, it'll adjust to the shape. So it comes in handy if you want to do something like you have a picture there and you want to have some type over here in an odd shape. So I'm going to take this area type tool and see how it'll conform to the shape. Okay? Could be a star, could be anything, okay? Does that make sense? Here's one other thing, because this is related to Photoshop. We've already gone through this a little bit. This, the warp tool, in Photoshop, I think it was a type warp tool. In here, it's just the warp tool, which is under effect, okay, warp. And then this is the same tool set we had in Photoshop. So we can do arc, all that stuff. We can just drop down here, arc lower, arc upper, arch, all this stuff, and we can adjust it here. Same as in Photoshop, okay? Has the flag one here, all that stuff, okay? Start thinking about that with your type. How you gonna how you gonna treat the type? Okay, it's important. A lot of people do a really nice illustration, really bad type. Don't do that, okay? 
I'm going to update the type folder online. I want to make sure that I got the current one that doesn't have all the empty fonts in there. Does that make sense? 